Hey punks, what's up? It's Kirsten slash Relatable Punk Girl. It is so much colder in my house and I guess I can't really complain though because I've been wanting it to get colder. That's why I'm wearing so many layers. We're going to be talking about the time that I hid my piercings from my parents for like probably over a year. Disclaimer, I do not encourage this. I don't advise that you pierce yourself so please don't do that. <laughs> Go to a professional, don't be stupid like me. I've had my septum for literally six years. I was lucky I didn't get an infection. I was lucky that I did it correctly somehow. I don't know how, but not something that I wanna brag about. I feel really stupid, trust me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background that I was raised super Christian. My parent was not about piercings, was not about tattoos or modifications whatsoever. So this is kind of where this story begins. I had asked my parent at the time that I wanted to get a septum piercing and they were like, no, even though I told them that with a septum piercing you can just flip it up like no one else can see it. So like if I got it, I would just flip it up and they were still like, no. <laughs> I believe there was a video that I saw, I think it was by Morgan Joyce because I have been watching Morgan Joyce since like 2012 and she was talking about how like you should write something up about it or whatever and give it to your parents and, and so I did I typed up this whole thing about like the piercing and what you have to do and what you can do with it blah 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 very professional about it and I gave it to my parent and they were still like no <laughs> I was a freshman in high school I was 13 years old guys and I decided that I was just going to take initiative and just do it myself. This is really like the only time I've ever been like rebellious. So I did it myself. I didn't use a safety pin. I, I used a sewing needle. Do you know how big sewing needles are? Like, do you know how big? They're, they're, they're so small. Still to this day, it was one of the least painful piercings of my life. So after that, I had used a Claire's earring. You know when you get your ears pierced at first at Claire's, there's like a little point at the end? I wish I would have kept it. It was a Hello Kitty earring and I just put it in there. I don't even know how I got my septum to be as straight as it is because I didn't use clamps. Like, I just went for it. I let it heal throughout, you know, however long. It needed to heal and then I went to go stretch it up to like an 18 gauge and then it went up to all the way to a 14. So like after I did it myself all of my friends would be like hey can you pierce this for me and I'm like no I cannot do it because I knew in my heart and soul that it was wrong what I did but my parent wouldn't let me do it so I did it <laughs> myself. I had hidden it from them for over a good year like a year and six months or so until like I felt guilty enough to like tell them. I remember there was this one day I was like drinking water from a cup and I had a silver ring in so when I flipped it up like if you looked up my nose you could see the there, there, there was something there you know. I went to go take a sip of my drink or whatever and I looked up like this and my parent was like there's something silver in your nose. And me immediately was like, what? What do you mean? And I ran to the bathroom, took it out, and I went up to them and I was like, what do you mean? There's nothing there. But then after that, I made sure that I put in a black ring. So I hid that for about a year and a half or so. And then I also hid the fact that I was stretching my ears. Sometime in that period that I started stretching my ears and I had also pierced my septum. So, and again, I had asked my parent, I was like, can I please start doing this? Like they're super small, like they're not gonna get that big. And they were like, no. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take initiative and do it myself. I started stretching my ears and the only reason why I was able to hide it is because I put hair over my ears all of the time. Like that was my thing. I kept my hair over my ears so you wouldn't be able to see them. And I mean, 
You can kind of do that with these. That's what I did all the time. Like, I got up to a half inch, my friends. A half inch before this one knew what was going on. <laughs> a half inch is pretty significant. Um, double zero is pretty significant. Once they found that out, uh, they told me to take them out and I had to take them out. Unfortunately, like I wasn't rebellious enough to think they didn't take away my plugs, so why don't I just like keep them in when they don't know, you know what I mean? Um, I wish I would have known now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more from me, subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.